basically try to set across the bay. We're gonna go out here and try to net up some kokanee using a gill net and we're gonna see if we can corral them into them so we can take their odorless. We have a microchemistry project going on right now that is working on informing us how many of the fish out here or what proportion of the fish are from a hatchery and what proportion are natural recruitment. You know, the last few years, Utah, Wyoming, and the Jones Hole National Fish Hatchery have stocked, on average, about 1.5 million kokanee into Flaming Gorge. Yeah, now we're going to just be careful and drive the whole boat over the top of the net. And we're going to try to corral the fish that are in the back of this bay right into it. Two years ago, biologists and a graduate student from the University of Idaho launched a sophisticated study to determine how many kokanee that are caught by anglers or are spawning and reproducing are coming from natural recruitment or are coming from the hatchery system. So we want to make sure that the anglers and the state are getting the most value out of those fish and that those fish are contributing to this resource and if they're not you know reallocating those resources to other waters where they might be of more benefit. We're not doing this study because we're concerned that the kokanee fishery is depleting or crashing. Really the inverse is true. I mean the kokanee fishery remains strong and has been strong for the last four or five years. You can feel them all fighting in the net. And we're just trying to better understand it to see if we can change our management on the reservoir to either allow anglers to take more kokanee home or if we need to stock more fish to account for predation that's taking place out here. Good example of a male late run kokanee. Well the process we're going to use is called microchemistry. It uses a mass spectrometer to analyze the otolith itself. So they're right here. Oh I got them, yeah right there. And what it's going to do is search for the element strontium. That strontium changes based on the geographical location that water flows through and that mass spectrometer is going to look at the very center of these otoliths and tell us what ratio of strontium exists in that otolith and it'll tie it back to either the gorge or a particular water body or like a hatchery and so far based on preliminary analysis it seems like it's about 50 50 for hatchery fish in the reservoir which means that the fish we're putting in are of great benefit to the fishery. If we were to stop stocking one and a half million kokanee in here, we would expect kokanee fishing to drop by 50%. Biologists still have another year in the study. We'll be sure to keep you updated.